I'd like to introduce to you guys Liquid Text. It's a new tool that I've been using to do the reading. Once Liquid Text is opened, you can open one of the files that you've added to the application. It, it accepts PDF files. And in this case, I've opened the EdTech Developer's Guide. And you can see that I've made some notes previously on the left side. But as you scroll through the document, you can read it as you would any PDF reader. However, once you get to a section that you have found something interesting, you can highlight the text, which is useful in and of itself, but then you can drag it to the left side of the screen as an easy to access note. One thing you may notice as I'm adding this note to my list of notes is that I can resize both the reading pane and the space my notes are stored in making it easier to read either my notes or the text. And as you can see, you can scroll through the document as you would expect. And you're also able to scroll through your notes at any point in the document, so you can refer to a previous excerpt if you find a common connection between the previous note and the passage you're reading now. But where it gets really interesting is that as you find a section that has information you like, you can select the text, extract that to the side, and then, as I'll demonstrate in a moment, you can select points or subpoints that would support the primary text. So I'm going to now select a passage in the uh, document. And there's the space that I've created for this. I'm going to drag the text out into the side. I'll now add a second selection. And finally, a third selection. Now I would like to link these three subpoints to my previous selection, so I can do that using the pen tool. I can choose a different size or thickness to the pen, draw lines from one piece to another. But what's also very nice is that if there's a point further on that I would like to move or link one of the sections I've just added, I can drag that down to the same area as another point that I've highlighted to build the connection between those points. You'll see the red line indicating where the text was originally taken from, and you'll see the two notes have stuck together, which is usual, useful to indicate their relationship. To go back to my text to continue reading it, but now what I want to do is I want to bring down by pinching the text, I can squeeze the text, and I can bring a point I highlighted earlier in the text closer to the passage that I'm reading now, and I can also draw a line to link those two texts together, so it helps me see the connection between different areas in the document. I am finding this a useful tool for helping me formulate ideas and creating almost a bullet point list that I would use to develop a paper or a response to an article. And as you can see from these screenshots, some of the combinations can be fairly simple, where I'm just linking ideas together, to a little bit more complex, where I'm actually annotating and developing my ideas in that note space. I hope you found this interesting. This is my What's Hot contribution for this week. Have a good day.